Hello. Face textures. In Nomad's Cult, it's not possible to project a texture, a face texture like this here on, on a mesh. This video is not about sculpting or something, it's only about projecting a texture picture on this mesh. You can use the paint tool. In the paint tool you can choose a texture. Sorry, I delete this one, I use a new one and uh, import one like this. And color white is okay. And in the stroke settings, you need a, here, I think we, we try with a, a flat fall off. And the scaling here, um, we choose a, a other texture, this one, and this um, alpha. And now when you try to apply this texture, sorry, we have to adjust uh, the grab dynamic radius uh, here in the stroke type. And now when you try here to bring your your photo in position, it doesn't work. You can try 100 times, um, you never get it. Okay, how to yes project the texture on this mesh? You need a... Um, a helping object and oh sorry undo you need a, a high resolution on the mesh because we want to apply vertex vertex color and yes and the next step is we need um, a center point and I switch now to Procreate. You can use every painting app for this, but I use Procreate because I'm on the iPad. We need a, a square canvas because the textures are, uh, the brushes are in Nomad Sculpt always are square. Um, formatted and here in the settings of the canvas you can use um, such a grid here and you can adjust this grid and we need a, a crosshair like this and this point in the middle is the insert point of the texture Okay, in, in Nomad Sculpt we need to point out this insert point. And for this we add um, a plane. And I bring this plane a little bit out and I rotate it 90 degrees in the front. We can make it a little bit bigger. And we need only a, a very small division of one. And here in the front view, bring this plane in in the yes in the, near in the, in the middle of your your mesh here. And in a position like this, a little bit in front of the nose but don't touch it like this because when you use your brush here's the insert point and your brush radius is like a sphere. It's like this, um, where the brush of Nomad Sculpt works. Okay. 
now uh, the plane is in position. Okay, next step is it's, um, it helps. Sorry, we need a, the paint tool. I think I have to reset it. We need a dark color and a small radius. We need contours. I paint here a little bit and here because I want to see the, the eyes and And where, where everything is, we can use symmetry, of course. Okay, I think this is enough. Um, and use the orthographic view. And now I, I use this one, sorry. The wire is okay. Validate. And we need this point on the plane to see the insert point. And now bring your your head in position in front view. You can lock the view and uh, place your head. And then take a screenshot of your head. And you can crop it like this and save it to, uh, to your photos. And then go to Nomads uh, to Procreate. In Procreate, you can add your photo here and you can bring in the texture. Let's use this guy. And at the moment we hide this one and we use this layer with your sculpted head. And here you see the crosshair here and a line the crosshair with the center of your face, like this. Okay. And then we need our face. And this face, we can, um, yes, uh, fit to canvas and reduce the opacity to see through the through the layer and yes and <laughs> see uh, your normal sculpt, normal sculpt object and then select the object and scale it that the uh, the eyes are in position and the nose are in the same position and the mouth. And I think now it's okay. And the next thing is we don't need the crosshair anymore. Uh, we can use now the settings um, um, we can go to symmetry and use this layer and use liquify and with liquify we can adjust the mouth a little bit or bring the eyes a little bit more in position and adjust the nose here and the rest is correct um, 
with a liquify tool it's possible to yes adjust the eyebrows a little bit or like you want or it's good This is only about the basic technique, uh, how to do this. Um, and when you're fine, we don't need this layer anymore and we can bring back the opacity. It's not perfect. With a little bit uh, more time, you can do it re real good. Um, and now you can export your texture jpeg and save it so and now here in in nomad sculpt the next step is select both meshes the plane and the head and join it you can separate it again so problem and then you need the paint, import your texture, this one. I clean up the thing and bring back white color, texture. And here in the stroke settings, use a, use a flat fall off and grab dynamic radius. And the other alpha and the scaling like this and test it and turn off the symmetry on the left side symmetry off and here uh, scale your uh, face a little bit smaller and bring it here because we need the grab dynamic radius and when you scale now here the, um, the texture scale it um, till the eyes are in position or like this and now your texture is in the right position also the ears or should be correct and when you're happy with the thing, you can separate your object again and you can hide the plane. And here you have your painted face. Nice. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.